Hey, right, what's up, y'all? I don't know if it's true. I seen a little video of Takashi since now. Looked like his face was real bloody. They said some niggas beat the shit out of him or whatever. And you know what I mean? I don't know what happened with that situation or why it happened, but you know. That's the type of shit you gonna get when you do the type of shit that he did. Now, understand this. I know society has changed. The streets has changed. And it seems like snitching has become more acceptable now than it ever has, right? But understand, it's still real people out here that don't accept that shit at all. So to all you street motherfuckers that want to be super gangster, but then you ain't, you know, you ain't gangster enough to deal with your consequences when you get caught, understand that in prison is different from the streets. You go out in them feds and you start touching penitentiaries, not FCIs, not camps and loads. I'm talking about you start walking on the penitentiary grounds. You're not going to be front of DMV and be a hot nigga in a penitentiary. Nigga, you, you, not, you ain't going to be able to be on no compound. You're going to have to check in immediately or niggas going to clean your ass up. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And you still got people on the streets that'll knock your head off. Or at the very least, beat the fuck out you and have your face bloody. The cautious says, nah, they say he got the shit without of them. I saw a little video. He was like, man, y'all jump me, y'all jump me. This shit was busting and leaking. Hey, good job, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he, he gets everything he deserves. And we got to uh, protect our culture as black Americans because, you know, I mean, Takashi, I'm pretty sure he probably was raised around all black people. But, you know, he's Latino. And the way he act, I'm pretty sure... Like his mother, his father, that, that's not his culture. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure his family don't act the way he act. You know what I'm saying? He infiltrated black culture as a Latino. And then when he got locked up, he only got black people locked up. He told only on black people. We got to protect our culture, man. But that man got his ass whipped. You deserve that shit. All you hot niggas, stop being hot or just leave the streets alone, man. Anybody that feel as though... You know, if you get locked up, man, you got to do what you got to do to protect yourself and shit. If you feel like that, then leave the fucking streets alone. Get a fucking job, man. Because I guarantee you, if you get a job, if you if you go to school and get a job, you know what I'm saying? Not, not saying go to college, just go to school so you can learn how to do some type of skill. So you can have a skill that you can use to sell yourself. And you can use that skill to make money, right? Anybody that do that, I guarantee you, you're going to make way more money than 80% of the niggas on the streets. Because most of the motherfuckers in the streets, they not making no money for real. If you, if you don't got a job and your only source of income is just hanging outside and so-called hustling, if that's what you're doing, man, you're not making no bread for real, man. Only a few really get that bread like that, man. Most motherfuckers in the streets don't get a lot of money in the streets, man. Because if that was the case, then everybody would be rich because everybody was thugging for real. You know what I'm saying? That's just not what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't live that life and deal with them consequences, bro, leave the streets alone, man. Don't do that shit just because you think it's cool. Because that shit ain't cool once you start facing them numbers. That shit ain't cool once them bullets start coming at you or you getting fucked up and you got a bunch of enemies and shit. Niggas trying to kill you, motherfuckers. Stabbing you up, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Your friends getting killed and shit like that. Ain't nothing cool about that shit at all, man. Get a motherfucking job, nigga. You hot. You going to tell on everybody. So why you want to be in the streets and then you going to fuck your whole everything you did in the streets. That shit just going to go down the drain because now you a hot motherfucker. Then you don't get no respect nowhere. The difference between Takashi 69, you average hot motherfuckers, is Takashi 69 was a millionaire. He could buy his friends. Them motherfuckers don't give a fuck about that nigga that's protecting him. He just got money. You know what I'm saying? That's it. They, they wanted the money. You dig what I'm talking about? Yeah. All right, y'all.